Uh, so welcome back guys my name is Amlan and in today's make launch video campaign we go about looking at what we can do in case navigation buttons are not working on a Samsung phone. Now my mother uses a pretty old Samsung device and the device is something like this and the navigation buttons here is not working so in case I have landed up in gallery I can practically not go back because the navigation buttons are not working at all. Now in the newer uh, Samsung phones you can see that the navigations are basically on screen touch icons. So if I happen to go someplace, I can again like go back using like the on-screen touch icons. So these are not buttons exactly, but like in the earlier devices, we used to have this. So like these are again not buttons, but then basically using tap feature, you can use it. So now let's look at what can be done in case you are having some issue like this, wherein the navigation buttons or the back button or like the multi-screen thing, they're not working. So I head towards the Play Store. I download a certain application, uh, search for navigation bar and just go ahead and download this. So you'll see there is this navigation bar for Android and you can see these buttons here. So what will happen is post we do this, this navigation buttons will come on the screen. And even if the uh, like the screen uh, icons aren't working for navigation, you can use this navigation bar out here. So I'll tap on this and I will go ahead and install this. So navigation bar from wormhole and you can try different applications. I mean, basically the idea here is like if in case this isn't working and like, you know, for some reason the shops are saying that we can go ahead and repair your device. Well, this works as a perfect solution wherein you can still use the navigations using this application because a virtual type of navigation on screen icons are created much like uh, like this what you have in the newer Samsung handset so I will just open this and we'll go ahead and install this so I agree to all of this mm, so like it says turn on navigation bar as accessibility device go to setting and like you know let's go ahead and do this so here uh, accessibility I need to turn it on for navigation bar also so I will just simply turn this on okay now as soon as I do this you can see these three things have come here at the bottom so I'll just do this okay and you can see everything has come here so I really I mean there's nothing much to explain about this you can do various different things but the main thing that you must have realized by now is like you know I can now use this navigation on screen icons for navigating uh, I mean that's pretty much it because now if I in case happen to go someplace like suppose I go to like the place where I want to come back I can use this bag which is here so this bag even if it's not working I can use this bag here and I can pretty much access my device so it's as good as having a new Samsung phone in which you are practically having all the different navigation controls using this on-screen navigation icons so you get that using this application so practically this helped my mom because uh, now even despite the navigation controls which are there on the phone by default which are not working i still have this different solution which i have now installed from the play store which was known as navigation bar and once done that given accessibility permissions i now have this thing on my phone which pretty much makes my phone usable again so i think it's a wonderful solution and pretty much helpful for people who are on older devices and for some reason their phone navigation controls are not working so go ahead and let me know whether this tutorial is helpful whether you could help your close friend or your parents or maybe someone with this tutorial and if you did and if you find this tutorial helpful kindly consider subscribing please do share this with your friends and family do let us know in the comment section how you find this tutorial also let us know if you are suffering from any other mobile related issues we would be more than happy to help until next time it's me amran signing off